Junior, I want you to pay close attention to this story, for it has a very important moral. The name of it is The Dog and His Shadow. I know this story, Dad. It's the one about the dog who finds a bone and then sees his reflection in the... Uh, junior. ...the water, and thinking it's another dog, drops his bone because... Uh, junior. Because he's so greedy, see? And the moral is... Junior, there's one moral that you haven't learned. What's that, Pop? To listen. Uh, so you think that's the story, huh? Yeah, Pop. Well, it just so happens that isn't the story at all. What is the story, Pop? Well, all right, all right. Uh, <clears throat> um... Once upon a time... That's a safe start. There was this dog, you see. Uh, there was this dog and a bone. Now, this dog was very happy with his bone until he noticed his shadow. Say, that dog has a bigger bone than I do. Psst. Hey, buddy. Come here. Yes? Don't you notice something peculiar? Uh, no. Uh, what's the matter? Well, I wouldn't want this to get around, but, uh, you ain't got no shadow. No shadow? Of course I got a shadow. All dogs have shadows. In fact, all things have shadows, in a manner of speaking. It is a simple law of physics. You ain't. That's funny. I had one this morning. You ain't got one now. I don't want to stick my nose in your business, Jack, but I think you ought to get one. Oh, my goodness. What will I do? All right, now take it easy, buddy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I know a guy who deals in hot shadows. He'll sell you one pretty cheap. You meet him here at 12 midnight. You the dog who ain't got no shadow? Yeah, that's him, all right. You got the money, creep? Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, Charlie, here's your shadow. When they don't open it until after we're gone. You got that, Charlie? <laughs> Why not? Just say that's the way the shadow bounces, Charlie. My name ain't Charlie. Oh, well, no matter. At last, I have my shadow back again. Whoops! Hey, that's not my shadow. Psst, buddy, don't yell. I told you I'd get you a shadow. I didn't say it'd be your shadow. This happens to be Charlie's shadow. But who, Miss Charlie? <laughs> Poor Charlie. Listen, Charlie, if I have got to have you as my shadow, you got to straighten up and act right. You got to follow my every movement. You got that? All right, then. Let's give it a run through. Forward, hutch. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. No, 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 no. You are not following. How many times I got to tell you, Charlie? I suppose you think it's easy. And that's another thing. Shadows are not supposed to talk, even if spoke to. Day in and day out, following every movement people make. And let me tell you, there are some pretty stupid movements we have to follow, too. We shadows want a little dignity. We want to be treated with respect. Then maybe we could do you a good turn someday. <laughs> How could a shadow help anybody? Where's your license? Well, I, I got it here someplace. <laughs> uh, I, I think I left it on the top bureau drawer. Get out! There's only room for one. Now I got you. No, now I've got you. Who said that? I did, Faxo. According to the laws of physics, if there is a terrifying shadow of a lion cast upon the wall, it naturally follows that a lion is in the near vicinity. Thank George. I'm going to have to admit it. Shadows are a great help. Well, I may as well give this back. Yeah, what's that? It's your bone. Oh, then you're... That's right. I was your shadow all along. Well, I will be. Uh, but tell me, who is this guy, Charlie? Which, of course, brings us to our moral. Treat your shadow with respect, and you will not be sorry. For how can you be really sure it is not owned by Charlie?